I'm Lainey from Lux and Lux of Hairstyles, and today we're, we were just looking for different ways to um, do no heat curls, and we found one, so we just do pin curls with um, this big of fabric, tying it together, and it's flannel, so it's super soft to sleep on. I started with my hair just a tiny, tiny bit wet, and I tied it with pin curls and held it with this fabric. And so when you wake up, it looks like this. So keep watching. Now her hair is just slightest bit wet to start. And I did the first one so you can see it. Look at that cute little pin curl just held in place by the rag tied up. Then I section off my next piece. You can see my pajamas too. We're both ready, getting ready for bed. So I have let her hair almost completely air dry. Then I will pull up this next section. And I center the piece of fabric right behind it because it will hold your curl in. And then see my two fingers are behind it and they're going to be the anchor to my pin curl. So I wrap it around the fabric and I keep bringing it inside the fabric strip. See how I've done that? And then I tie this part in a knot, but you can't pull out your other two fingers, so you have to tie a one-handed knot. And then, I, then you've got your little pin curl held in with that knot. And don't do your knots too tight because that can leave just the slightest kink. So I keep them kind of loose and with this flannel they are not going to fall back out. And then just so that's not bugging her all night in her face, I roll it back just a hair and stick a bobby pin in. Then I will move to the other side and section off a, a generous piece. The smaller you do your strips of hair or strands of hair, the tighter your curls will be. And I'm going for like a loose beachy curly wave so I don't want to get too tight. So wrap it around your two fingers and keep going in between the fabric strips. And then tie these in a knot. Notice how I have the end of her hair sticking up right there. So I can try one of two things. When I pull the knot tight, I will try to catch that hair so it folds over. Or I will bobby pin it to her head and just follow the angle or the curve I have on my pin curl. But I was able to kind of catch it in the fabric. Now you could bobby pin the whole hairstyle in but, or the whole curling technique, but I'm afraid once you went to sleep, the bobby pins would fall out. These pieces of fabric stay in much better. Now I anchor that one a little bit to her head too, just so they don't fall out while she sleeps. So I've rolled up the whole thing, and then I'm going to bobby pin where I think it needs it, because she'll flop around and roll, and those will just kind of hold it there so that they don't move. So I did two curls on the top of her head and then one on each side and then in the back notice I have an upper row and a lower row. Just two down there on that bottom row and some on the upper but her hair is kind of fine. So if you have really thick hair you'll want to put in some more but remember the smaller your strands the tighter the curls. So it kind of looks like this when you finish it and we're going to show you the rest in the morning. Well, it's morning now, so we're going to see how these rags turn out, so keep watching. So some of them are a little floppy, and even though I bobby pinned them up, they fell, but that's okay. So as I untie the rag, I want to hold that pin curl in my hand to maintain its shape. You'll see, what I, and then I slip the, the fabric out. See, I pull it through, and, and it's just having these really thick, cute, fun, wavy curls. So pull out all the ones in the back and then I come up front and look how fun those are and you didn't have to put any heat on it at all. And then I don't want to comb it out but I will take my wide tooth comb and smooth it out up top so that it doesn't look like something that's been slept in. And that one got a little fuzzy so I'll just brush it around my hand and spin it around my finger. And then in the back I'll just loosely play with these a little bit. Again, I'll take my wide tooth comb and just smooth it out at the top so it looks like something I styled with heat. And then I will take my hairspray and spritz this a little so that they'll be sure to stay in. Any old hairspray that you have. And I'll give it a couple of squirts and then I like to squeeze it in my hand, kind of scrunch it. And I'll do that around her hair. And then just one right up there at the root to give it a little puff. <laughs> 